Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be the quickest video I ever made. I think I'm literally gonna do very little edits because I wanna jump right into the goodies. My goodies, my goodies. So I opened my door today and I'm working and I'm like, what the heck is that? Boxy, Boxy charm. charm, not only for June, but also for July. Are you lying to me right now? No. If you guys want to watch and see what's in these two boxes, definitely keep on watching. I'll also do a little full face with these. So yeah, yeah. please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into it. Ooh. All right, guys. So right now we are looking at the June box. This is all the goodies that we get in here. Super excited. Pamphlet, little thing or whatever. So we're gonna get the Touch and Soul. This is the Fill Up Orange Eyeshadow Palette. So, so beautiful, so gorgeous, so everything. everything. Love that. Then we also have the Perlazy. This is the Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. This is $35. Also guys, I did forget to mention that the Touch and Soul is a $32 eyeshadow palette, really good. But anyway, this is the Perlazy Perfect Glow BB Cream. Really cute, shade Tan Deep. Tan Deep is pretty good. Right? I mean, like, if I keep going to Grandma's pool, I'm gonna be burnt. Next, we got the Tula Skin Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. Where? Where, Where are you? Where are you? Nope, not here. Okay. I think what happened was my box, maybe I the last minute, maybe they ran out of some goodies. So they gave me the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder and Cocoa Bling. Did I want an eye cream? Yes. Because you guys know my eyes get crazy, but I always wanted to try one of these Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powders, so I'm actually excited about that. So good. Next, guys, we have the QMS Micro Cosmetics Lip Line Corrector. This retails for $200. $200. Ooh. $200. I'm not living like a beauty guru yet, so I mean, uh -huh. maybe one day. I don't know. All right, guys. And last for the June box, uh, we have the First Aid Beauty KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% Alpha Hydroxy Acid or AHA. Really nice. This is actually a 4.0 ounces. I mean, that's pretty good. 11.14 grams. I think this is one of their newer products. So I don't really have acne. much going on. Maybe I could give this away to somebody if you guys are interested in a body thing or a body scrub or a bump eraser for your back. Definitely let me know. Comment below if you really want to try it. And maybe I'll just send it to you. I mean, I don't know. All right, guys, so for our base, I'm going to keep out of the June box, I'm going to take the Honestly. BB cream, the Perfect Glow, and I'm also going to keep the Artist Couture powder on the side so that when we do our full face, we could actually incorporate these products and not forget and then drop Sorry, everything perfect. and break everything in. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Yay! And now it's time for our July box. And no, I'm not July to you. <laughs> Here we go. This is the July box. What do you guys think? Should I go on Fiverr and do some voiceovers? No, I'm just joking. Anyway. I don't know what's in, what's in this box, but this smells deadly. We have the 111 skin. This is the NAC Y2 Pollution Defense Booster. And this one is $125. Jeez. Jeez Louise. And I'm going to use that like a primer, even though it's not really a primer. We're going to defense. So we're going to defense these wrinkles. We're going to defense the dark spots. We're going to defense everything. <laughs> My lighting. We need the aesthetic. Can you guys even see the aesthetic? Probably. Not. Next, we're gonna go on with the Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. Look at that packaging. This just looks so luxurious. This is in shade Blaze, by the way. Oh my god. Guys. Whoa. That is so fancy. Whoa. Wow, like, so pretty. I may even use that for a highlighter. I don't know. This is gonna be so fun. Yeah. Next, we have the Ace Beauty Bronze in Paradise Palette. This is $30. And this, I believe, comes in four different shades. Yep. Four different <laughs> shades. Oh, we could definitely use this to, I don't know, maybe lightly bronze, but I am so interested in all these shades. This is beautiful. Whoa, guys. By the way, these are powders. They're not cream. Yeah. So good. I can't wait to try this. This is going in my little full face box, box over, over here. here. Next, guys, we have the Sol de Janeiro. Janeiro. This is the Brazilian Joa Strengthening, Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. These are $24. This is what made the box smell so good. Oh, my God. Literally, guys. So cute. Like, I just want to, like, keep them here. Oh, yeah. Them. And last, we're going to go in with the Boucher Fierce and Fine Graphic Pen. Oh my gosh. It's deeply pigmented, waterproof. Like, who doesn't need that? This feels so luxurious. This retails for $21. So cute. Whoa. Damn, guys. Really able to get like a nice, sharp line. All right, guys. And with that being said, stick around if you want to watch me try some of my favorite products from the June box and July box. Ooh. So to start, I'm just going to go in with my Dollar Tree lip balm. You guys already know. I love Dollar Tree. This is the Pollution Defense Booster. Shake well before use. Mix one to two drops in the palm of your hand with your favorite moisturizer and apply directly to skin after cleansing. This is really fancy, guys. 
That's definitely 112 dollars or whatever it was. So we're just gonna take one. Is this thing gonna drop? One. Two. This is really slimy, guys. Really goopy, and I'm hoping that it doesn't have escargot. Oh, clearly. Snail. This feels so luxurious. Like my skin feels so plump and so juicy. And on top of that, it's protecting me from all the blue lights, rings. Like you need sunscreen. Like just for looking at your phone, there's blue lights and harmful stuff. Next, guys, I'm so excited to try this BB cream. This is the Perfect Glow BB Cream SPF 30. You know I need it. This is going to give a natural looking coverage, matte meets glowy finish. I'm just gonna take a little pump. This match is so good. Especially for like being in a box. Like they didn't even know my shade. Like really like all they ask you is like, are you like this shade? Are you that shade? Are you this shade? Are you like a, a chameleon? chameleon? I don't know. <laughs> the fact that like just by a freaking questionnaire, like you guys really got a good shade match. So this is one side and this is one side without. I am highly, highly, highly impressed. Stain my shirt. It's all right. And it gives such a beautiful finish. I'm like. I'm hooked. That is the BB cream on. Let's move on to contour, bronzing, and everything else. Okay guys, so I am beyond excited to try the Ace Beauté Bronze in Paradise palette. I don't even know what shade I want to use. I don't even know. I don't even know. I think I'm going to try just to go on with this shade right here. Now, I could already tell this is very pigmented, so I'm going to try my best to be as careful as possible. Ooh, very nice. This is very pigmented. I do love the shades in this palette. It just looks like butter. I don't know. I love to be bronzy. Like, that's no secret. Bronzer is my cousin and my friend and half my family. Moving on. Next, guys, I'm going to go in with the Artist Couture Cocoa Bling. So let's open this up. And I think I'm going to like just take a little side of it. I just hope the shade isn't too light for me. What can you do, right? What can you do? I'm going to take a fluffier brush. Whoa, whoa, that's pretty damn beautiful. I thought it was gonna look like crazy crazy, but I guess it depends on how you do it, what you do, and what you do. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Make everything look like a glazed donut. Like it should like be. Should. This is the glow that it gives. I'm very impressed. Comment down below if you guys really like this highlighter. And if so, what are like some of your favorite shades? I've heard a lot about Coco Bling, Illuminati. Illuminati. And um, some other shades. I think there's like more of a golden shade that I really, really, really want to try. So I may be giving that a shot next time. This is the final look. This is how everything came out. I'm very impressed with all the products that I got. Maybe in the future, if you guys want to see me do a makeover on my mom using some of the products that we have here. I'll definitely do that. Thank you guys so much for coming on this BoxyCharm journey with me. I hope you guys found little goodies in there that you guys really like, especially in the June and July box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this content, definitely let me know down below. Also, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys. Stay safe, and until next time. Ooh,